What's up, well to family? It's Isaac once again. In my last video, I did a one inch, one G Megan Flux video that reached a million views. Do you guys really like that one? In today's video, I will be doing a 3G, one inch Megan Flux, and hopefully let's get this video to 50 or even a billion, million views. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you visit our new website, weldlife.com, and please make sure to use my discount code, iWelds, with a Z at the end, to get a 10% discount on your total purchase. All right, guys, here I got my one-inch plate. Make sure you clean it very, very nice. Now, I went ahead and tacked this little runoff tabs. That way, when I do my root, I can branch off from the top and get 100% reinforcement on my root and penetration. Now, the gap that you wanna use is a 532 gap or a loose 1.8. And make sure you put no landing on this plate. The biggest mistake you can do is put a landing. If you put a landing, more than likely, you will not penetrate on your root and you won't, you won't get a good root. So, this plate is very thick. It can take a lot of heat, so make sure you don't put no damn no damn landing on there. All right, guys, I now have my plate nice and tacked in the 3G position. My settings are gonna be 18 volts and 175 on my wire speed. Now, if you do exactly what I tell you to do, you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get it on your first try. This, to do this route is very, very easy. It's as easy as stealing candy from a baby. So make sure you pay attention and you'll pass that damn test. All right, so I'm gonna do a little dry run for you guys. Now, the way I like to do it, I like to walk the cup. Some people like to be freehanding and all that, but I don't really like that. I just like to walk it like if I'm doing TIG, just going downhill with it. Bam, 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 bam. So basically, you wanna start at the top. You're gonna start going, and you wanna stay on the leading edge of the puddle. Remember guys, stay on the, on the leading edge of the puddle. If you get too far ahead of the puddle, what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up shooting wire through the gap and you're gonna get whiskers on the back of your plate and that's no good, that's a, you're gonna end up failing your test and then you're gonna go home crying. If for any reason you feel like your puddle is gonna fall in, go on top of the wall and hold it right there. Let that puddle cool down. Once you let it cool down, you can come back to your, to your weld and keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. If you get to a part where your gap is a little bigger and you feel like you're gonna fall in, climb up the wall and pause a little bit. Let that puddle cool down. Then come back to it. Bam, 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 bam. Right, left, 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 right, left. And that's it. Very easy. The easiest thing you can do. I might even do it with my damn eyes closed. So, yeah, just make sure you're staying on the leading edge of the puddle. Left, right, 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 left. All right, guys, so there goes my root. I ended up doing blindfolded, and it came out really good. Um, so now, I'm just gonna wire wheel it. Make sure you do not grind your root down. If you grind your root, you're gonna end up blowing a hole on your hot pads with the flux core. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can do is grind your root down. All you gotta do is just wire wheel it, you'll be fine. Now I'm switching to my flux. Now, my settings for my flux, I'm a, run my voltage at 22 and a half and my wire speed at 240. Now basically all I'm gonna do now 
is just do a weave pattern. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to branch off from the tab. I'm going to come up and I'm just going to go right, left, right, left. 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 Make sure you stay at a 90 degree angle to the plate. You don't want to have a messed up angle pointing downwards or too going up. Keep it straight towards the plate, just like this. Now, I put this little clamp right here just so I can keep my arm right here. That way I can be more steady. Sometimes I, what I like to do is I like to put my index finger under my gun right here. And whenever I go up, my index finger is going up and that's helping me keep a nice steady arm. Make sure you climb up your wall a little bit. If you stay right on your root pass, you're gonna put too much heat in that root and you're gonna blow a hole. So you gotta come up a little bit on the wall. <laughs> All right guys, so now I did my hot pass. Now I'm finna do my first fill. Now my first fill, I'm gonna do another weave pass. Another right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. I'm basically covering up my hot pass. I did go up on my voltage to 23 volts now. I kept the same wire speed. Right, left, right, left, right, Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. Look at that slag coming off. It's not my fault. Alright guys, so there I did another weave pass. Now I'm gonna start doing two stringers from the middle to the left. Middle to 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 left. Then my sec my second one will be from middle to right. Middle to right. Middle to right. Middle to right. Middle to right, middle to right, middle to right. All right, guys, so now I did two stringers. Now I'm going to do three. All right guys, so there I got my three stringer beats. Now I'm gonna do four stringer beats. Quiet on the set. All right, guys, I now have it flush. Now, I am a little over flush, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make me a guideline right here on the side, and then I'm gonna shave it down. That way I have a flat surface to do my cap on, and I get a good, consistent, beautiful looking cap. So I now, I shaved off um, all the excessive metal that I had sticking out. Now, some people might talk shit and say, ah, oh, well, you gotta do that. It doesn't matter, what matters is how the cap looks and how the well looks, that's all that matters. As long as it passes the bend test, looks good, you're good.
there is my first beat cap. Now, it's not necessary to make another guideline. Now, if you want to do it, there's nothing wrong with that. So don't let people talk down on you if, if they make fun of you for making guidelines. There's nothing wrong with that. You are going to take a little longer to finish your weld, but at the end of the day, what matters is getting a good weld with no porosity, with no undercut, and a nice, consistent looking bead. And that's all that matters in you. You're good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Huh. All right guys, so there you have it. A 3G MIG and Flux on a one inch plate. Now make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and please make sure to get this video to let's say uh, a billion views, a billion views to go. And please follow me at iWelds on Instagram and Chunk the Deuce. That's pretty good. <laughs> I would say if you